Vamos aqui reagir então a How long can I live in a luxury resort for free? Ou seja, o homem meio que vai estar lá escondido, pelo menos é o que eu consigo perceber daqui. Vamos lá ver se a cena é isto ou deixa de ser. Banham daí com gajo, apertem os cintos, vou buscar alguma coisa para comer e vamos lá ver este videozinho como devo do senhor. Siga! It's a luxury resort and I'm going to be seeing how long I can live here without getting caught. Got it? Okay, all right, let's go, let's go. Right. It's no secret that people pay outrageous prices to experience luxury. But what if I did it all for free? I'm talking eating, sleeping, showering, and having an absolute blast. All to answer the golden question, how long can I live in a luxury resort oh, for poke. free? Days, weeks, months, and at what point would my luck run out? <laughs> To find out, I hopped on a flight with my partner in crime and went to a vacation destination, Hawaii. Landing in a tropical paradise was super exciting, but as soon as we hopped in our Uber, I quickly realized what I was getting myself into. Sitting in this 30-minute Uber had us rethinking our life choices. But before we could think too hard, we approached an entrance to the front of the resort. The Hilton Waikoloa Village Resort is the biggest resort on the entire island and since seeing it in photos as a kid, Man, é I always caralho. wanted to come here. But rooms here are not cheap. Bruh. Now for legal reasons, we had no choice but to book a stay here, but obviously we won't be using that at all. With our disguises on to stay extra undetected, the only thing left to do was to attempt to sneak in. Walking in, I tried okay, to... Okay, but the guy bought the same that if he was in the barrack, the guy was not in the prison. O homem fez. O homem pagou a estadia na mesma, só que entrou lá dentro e não usou nada disso. Pá, o que faz tudo ser um bocado mais à conas e não ser aquela cena. Vamos ver na mesma. Eu podia com as pessoas que realmente estão aqui. Como esperado, este lugar está cobrado em câmeras, então é uma boa coisa que eles não podem ver a minha face. Eu entrei com confiança e consegui passar a porta de trabalho para o check and desk. Eu sped up a bit para chegar à entrada, esperando que o meu plano não caia, mas, para minha surpresa, nós fizemos isso. Oh, mano, vais conseguir comer sem a pulseira nem nada, né? Except we may have celebrated a bit too early because we were immediately approached by this employee who started asking us where we were staying and how we even got in. Guys, I'm going to be honest, I, I couldn't think of anything, so I responded quickly with We're guests and we're going to leave in a few minutes. Is that fine? Okay, okay. all right, thank you. Yeah, that was already a close call. So we rushed to the bathroom, switched our outfits to look like different people, and walked out of that bathroom like Russian spies. Now that we Imagina, were here, we were totally trapped in the walls of this resort. resort. Luckily, this place is even cooler than I imagined. If this isn't a Hawaiian paradise, I don't know what is. There's Mas massive incredible. hotels, restaurants, a tram that runs through the resort, an actual dolphin exhibit with dolphins just Jesus. casually swimming around, and a whole lot more. But we'll have to check that out later because... We gotta scout out some sleep spots. This one's gonna be interesting. Yeah, so we had no idea where or how we were gonna sleep. We just knew it needed to be here. Pulseiras, eles têm de arranjar a maneira de fazer uma pulseira de tanga, né? literal bushes. If we tuck in these bushes, dude, that might be good. We looked and looked while trying to stay as low-key as possible to avoid raising suspicion. I saw this crazy cabana that looked like a literal bed, but it was way too risky being directly in the open. You might have to try to sleep in there at some point. I don't know, we'll see. After searching for what felt like forever, é, é no meio das ervas que é o sítio mais fixe essa ideia mesmo não ser encontrado, né? I don't think anyone would see you sleep if you slept on the roof up here. That's so sketchy. This is where they hold the ceremonies. And we're considering sleeping on that roof. <laughs> At this time, there was still a ton of employees out, so as the sun went down, we decided our best bet was to go somewhere more secluded and lay as low as possible. I'm honestly terrified to sleep tonight because Hawaii is known for having scorpions, cane spiders, and oh, man, monkeys, so which we saw a ton of today, this. and fun fact, they go pee everywhere. <laughs> And their pee is actually poisonous. Not to mention, we could easily get caught by security and be arrested. Anyways, when midnight rolled around, we decided it was time to make our move to get on the roof. Imagine, it's still dar aquele suspense, porque be arrested não é uma hipótese quando eles têm estadia, não é? Eles simplesmente não estão a dizer que têm, mas se vierem lá buscar, eles vão dizer que têm estadia, não?
E vou dormir nas pedras. Acho que é tanga, se eles disseram que dormirem em like tanga. We on the roof, which, by the way, was like directly next to the biggest pool on the entire resort. And I know for a fact there's still employees around. If you guys are wondering how we're gonna sleep on this roof, I brought this. A sleeping bag. So I started hum, setting up my sleeping bag as quickly as possible. I'm actually very grateful for this thing because we're sleeping on straight rocks, bruh. Owen went to the other side of the roof to set up. I, I thought I might never see him again, but he figured it out. Guys, I'm in my sleeping bag. Oh my god. Não sei se acredito muito que os gajos dormiram aí. Deve estar calor, mas nas pedras. Para lá que são pedras pequenas, né? some massive things planned but for now i should probably go to bed so i don't get caught by security good night good morning the sun's starting to come up so yeah it's pretty early but we still got a dip because i can literally see people walking around the resort still I saw multiple hum, security guards and dormir, and these workers não, não that I'm pretty convinced thought I was a crazy person. We have made it to day two. Oh, and how did you sleep? Not very good. The rocks kind of hurt. I slept horrible. Well, today's going to be a big day. We have a lot of things planned. We're going to get a morning workout followed with a lunch. Then we'll go snorkeling with turtles and end the day off with a nice warm jacuzzi. Oh, man, it's a back of bulls, not a case here. Vamos lá ver, vamos ver, não é? Vamos estar aqui com merdas, mas vamos fazer tudo e mais alguma coisa, tudo sem sem pagar nada. Ou na teoria sem pagar. Get more and more risky as the days go on. Today's goal is simple. Get a free gourmet meal. That honestly sounds delicious, and I feel like we're not going to be eating very well while we're in here. So that would be really freaking nice if we could get that. I'm just hoping today doesn't end with us in a Hawaiian prison. Let's get after it. So we made our way to the fitness center, which was actually kind of sketchy with all the cameras and all. When we found the gym, we realized you needed a key card to get in, which we obviously didn't have. But I signaled this dude to open the door for us, and this dude was super chill. Hey, thank you. And just like that, we were in. We got to the games okay. like Joe Bartolozzi. It's pretty obscene what I can say. Yeah. Because there was a lot of cameras in here. But after the workout, we were absolutely starving. Luckily, I planned for this moment. This right here is what's called an MRE. Yeah. It's basically a freeze-dried meal, and all you have to do is add hot water. Luckily, the coffee shop in here hooked us up with some hot water. I have chicken Alfredo. What did you get? The Summit Breakfast Scramble. Oh my god, okay. dude. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. Mandar para comer, né? É mais nessa onda dá para comer, mano. Yeah. Se gajos tiverem mesmo com fome, sempre ouvi dizer o melhor tempero é sempre a fome, reis. Oh não. Snorkeling. We've somehow been able to stay very low key and blend in since we've been here, but this one just felt different. As much as this was probably a bad idea, we quickly made our way to the lagoon to set up. There's so much security patrolling this place, it's ridiculous. If we were ever going to get caught in this video, this is probably the time it would happen. The goal is to go snorkeling and see a turtle. So, all right, let's stop filming. Let's just go in. I threw on my snorkeling gear and ran into the water. Once I was actually in the water, I was surprisingly less worried. Throughout this whole experience, I've had non-stop anxiety, but I was the water was the kind of água, mais I mean, look at these fish. Pretty cool. But to truly experience this resort, I needed to see a turtle. I tried to make this process as quick as possible to hopefully not get caught, and somehow we found one. Yeah, man, it's incredible, bro. That is so sick, dude. This shot right here is what dreams are made of. All right, time to pack it up. Before risking it all for a free gourmet meal, we decided to find somewhere shaded to cool off. We're going through it. The sleep is catching up to me. The hot weather is catching up to me. And this resort is starting to feel smaller and smaller the longer I'm in here. Definitely feeling trapped as well. You're just like constantly wandering. Like you can't get comfortable. You would think that being at a resort uh, would just continuously be the best thing ever. And it kind of is, but at the same time, I'm starting to feel a little bit trapped. I have a feeling it's the fact that I know I can't leave One this place. Time time. Time. I don't think there's a time in the day where I'm not drenched. Yes, don't assume, but don't normally. 
não tinham muito mais atividades que podiam fazer sem estar a preocupar. Mas também para vos dar o feedback, eu só tive uma vez na minha vida tipo num resort e foi agora quando estive no, no México. É fixe, mas não é muito o tipo de férias que eu acho que seja para mim. Se vocês são pessoas que gostam de meter a mochila às costas, andar, conhecer, explorar as merdas, pá, nós é que vamos fazer algumas excursões, é aquele intermédio que vocês conseguem encontrar. E eu gostei, sem dúvida gostei, mas continuo a curtir a, a minha feira, as minhas férias de mochila às costas e ver assim as merdas sem estar dentro de um espaço. Prefiro sempre tipo um Airbnb ou uma cena de género, ou mesmo que seja um hotel, mas só para dormir e explorar a mesma. Nós no resort fizemos isso, mas com as excursões. Vamos mudar os spots agora, para que a segurança não seja suspeita. To make our lives a bit easier, we decided to ditch the backpacks because they were so heavy. Hopefully they'll be here when we get back. I felt like we pushed our luck a bit too far for it only being day two, so for the rest of the day, we just kind of laid low and we made sure to move locations just so we weren't in one spot for too long. But when nighttime came around, we knew it was time to try our luck at a free gourmet meal. And I had a few hey. fancy restaurants in mind. It's been a really long day. The only thing I have on my mind is a meal. And behind me, Está com escala, não? Já que eu vou vos dizer. Então, eu vou lá e 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 vou lá We don't have our wallet. Is there any way we can get anything to eat potentially for free? Um, you stay here on property? Uh, well, we're guests, but. Do you have a room number? Um, uh, I can't give away anything. Okay, no, that's Sorry. perfectly fine. I appreciate it. Have okay. a good night. So that failed horribly. Okay. Honestly, I'm just happy that that lady was super nice and didn't suspect anything. But I knew I had one more shot Man, at logic the last Man, restaurant in the resort, number... which was this very to... expensive to... Italian restaurant. I walked in there praying I'd be eating good tonight, but immediately they told me. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't. Okay, yeah. No, that, that's 100% okay. We were so desperate at this point, we started uh. searching trash cans for leftovers. Oh, bro, I don't think I believe in this. Oh my god, that's a conqueror. Nah. Okay, alright, we're done, we're done, we're done. But ultimately, I knew there was only one option left. Step up the video, man. No problem, man. Can always be worse. Yeah. Dude. Cheers. I'll honestly take any food at this point. I'm just happy to be eating. Although it's only day two, and I feel like... Death. I'm not leaving until they drag me out of this place. However long that'll be, we'll see. Could be here for a while, so. We gotta figure out where we're sleeping. I'm gonna have to get some sleep tonight because I haven't really slept the past few days. Before finding our sleep spot, we ended the day with a jacuzzi and this thing was sizzling. Next to the jacuzzi, we found a shower, which was absolutely incredible. We were even <laughs> able to find some old towels laying around. We grabbed our backpacks, which were thankfully still there and walked to one of the only hidden sleep spots we were able to find yesterday. Is that a bug? That's a cockroach. No, that's not. Dude, that's like a slug. Dude, there's a ton of them. <gasps> We can't sleep here. They're literally everywhere, dude. Oh, look at that thing. It's like a summer, the mess I should have known about. The night is covered by like huge slugs. You can't even lay a sleeping bag down, you'll crush them. <laughs> Thank God we found a sleep spot right next to it that was once again on top of a rock hard roof. That, by the way, just so happened to be the Italian restaurant we were at earlier. Bruh moment. <laughs> Bruh. I laid down some of the towels we found for cushion, but um, I don't, it didn't help very much. This spot has so many bugs, mosquitoes literally on my light. There's one right there. Man, it's all desligado o caralho da luz, mas. I am praying to God I can get a little bit of 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 a little bit takes to make the best videos possible for you guys guys if you don't know we're trying to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year please for the love of god subscribe shout out to every single one of you guys that supports the channel what was that dude that was a massive bug i hate this okay i'm hearing people so i'm gonna go to bed uh i'll see you guys in the morning another day in paradise uh. welcome Assim cara de Kinder New Boy, né? Yeah. Last night was brutal. I probably slept two hours at most. How on earth 
have we not been caught? I'm honestly surprised we've made it three whole days here. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of sick of hiding all the time. I say today we see if we can experience this resort without even worrying about getting kicked out. So today's goal is riskier than anything we've done so far. Today we're gonna attempt to sleep in a poolside cabana. It's extremely okay. private and very heavily guarded. Oh, sleeping sleep here is not easy. It's like painful sleeping on roofs, so I'm really hoping we can sleep in the cabana. Let's try to have a good day. First things first, of course we had to hit the gym and we got lucky with the door being propped open this time. After getting them gains, we took a stroll to see every inch of this resort, passing by many employees. This is the most exposed. Oh, mas a ver, eu we took a ride on the tram and decided to go snorkeling again. This time we saw manta rays, which was epic. Then we pulled up to a place I've wanted to visit since getting here. Pessoal, vai, deve ser brutal, the pool. Né? The brutal. thing about the pool is that it's probably the place with the most work and you also need to have one of these white wristbands to get in and everyone had them except I already expected this because I did my research using Google I was able to find out that they had wristbands pretty easily so I bought some uh. white wristbands on Amazon for like 15 cents Sheesh. this guy is a genius oh, yeah. I swear, it seems like nobody at this resort cares. Bro, this pool was so refreshing. This actually felt like I was well, finally living the resort lifestyle. They might check our wristbands on the slide. We'll see, we'll see. I tried to go down the slide and the dude looked at my wristband and didn't say a thing. Now this was true luxury. We were out of there without a single employee batting an eye. It started to occur to me that I could probably live here forever. Wait, I could be here forever. Forever, forever, forever. Oh. Weeks could turn into months, which could potentially turn into years. I'm trapped. I can't leave. I cannot sleep on another roof. Why does this resort have so many creepy statues? Don't worry, Jack. You are now one Guys, I'm going to go to the other side and it's not going to happen. Vai dormir lá naquela cama. I can't do this, dude. It was pretty late at this point and we were struggling. Me and Owen ate our MREs for dinner, or at least tried to. I've grown some sort of gag reflex to the MRE. Then we walked over to the pool because it's finally time to attempt to sleep in a poolside cabana. We got to the cabana, which was literally in the sketchiest area you could possibly sleep. As delusional as I was, I tried my best to lower the blinds and set up our sleeping bags. Okay, we're all set up at the cabana. It's kind of sketchy that we're even filming right now, so I should probably make this quick. This is so much more comfortable than what we've been sleeping on. The only problem is the most patrolled area of the entire resort. The only reason why this risk is even worth it in the first place is because if I don't sleep tonight, I don't know if I'll even be able to function during the day. There's a really good chance we get kicked out, so we just have to hope we can get a full night of sleep before the police see us. Pronto, que é que vai acontecer? Eles vão para o quarto deles que já reservaram antes, só isso. Yeah. Uh, what room number are you guys? Um, I don't know what else to tell of my head. You guys can stay right here for a while. I know. No, you guys can stay here. Go, 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 É tanga, mano. Literalmente tanga, mano. We took refuge in a bathroom where we decided we would try and wait it out. I was terrified in this moment. My heart felt like it was beating a thousand miles per second. After an hour, we changed our outfits and covered our faces and decided we couldn't stay in there forever. So we made our way outside in hopes of finding a better hiding spot. We thought we could hitch the tram to the other side of the resort to stay okay. less in the open. But just as we were about to board the tram, we were approached by two security guards. So this lady gave us an option here. So the only other way I can do it is to get the police here with you and you'll, you'll be able to work with them. Uh, 
que ele agora deu no quarto dele e está tudo bem. We chose the easier option. I mean, it was kind of over either way. Como se caralho? Ele tem um quarto lá, mano. Eu não estou a perceber, mano. Shout out to this lady because she was actually really nice to us and quite honestly, I think we were ready to leave. So you know, like you tell me, I'm gonna walk to the lobby. You can get off the car, but I'm not gonna see you anymore, right? Yep. Well, yeah. That'll be the last we'll see of me, and we'll be happy to be carrying you. Good. O que é que vocês acharam deste vídeo? A malta que está aí a ver sentar a dormir. Não está aí ninguém, né? Comentem aí em baixo, meus reis. Não sei. Pá, é... é uma beca aí, só Diogo, né? Não sei se acredito bem nesta cena, mano. É pá.